We're here at the garage of the West End, where I don't know if you can see it properly behind me, but some 30 Tata Tiago EVs are charging right now. Our Tata Tiago EV is also among them. So the Tata Tiago EV is a new EV by Tata Motors that runs on a 400 volt architecture. In this video, we are going to test the car's charging rate, the curve of the charging, and how many amps the car can take. I'm hoping to get the answers to two questions. First, how much peak power can the Tata Tiago EV take and for how long can that peak power be maintained? Question number two, will we see a rapid decline in the charging rate after the battery is 80% charged? Let's talk about what we're working with here. The Tata Tiago EV variant which we received has a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack. Our assumption is we will be charging the Tiago EV at around 1C so we expect it to accept around 19 kilowatt peak power. According to our recent test, the Tata Tiago EV has a range of approximately 180 km with a mix of highway and city driving. We reached the hotel with about 8% SOC remaining. The ambient temperature was about 30 degrees Celsius. That is when we plugged in the car. Now that the car has started charging, let's see how this Tata power charging station performs. It's been about half an hour since we plugged in. We reached here, if you remember, with 8%. The range has now gone up to 50%. So it charged about 42% in 30 minutes. Uh, what that tells me is that if I reach a fast charger with about 10% battery remaining, I can get about 100 kilometers of range back in 30 minutes. And I should add that this fast charger is charging at the rate of 17 kilowatts. One more thing that I want to point out is that the current has been stable at 53 amps so far. However, we are going to charge the car to 100% entirely. So let's see if that data changes. So stay tuned. Okay, next update. The car has been charging for about 50 minutes. It's gone up to 80%. We've noticed that there's not been much of a drop in the current. From 53 amp, it's gone down to 50 amp. Final update, the SOC is now at 95%, very close to uh, finishing charging. After it reached 85%, uh, the, the current slowed way down and right now it's at 8 amps. So uh, that's why it's taking longer to reach 100%. Here are some graphs that will show you how the charging is working. Let's look at the graph where we show the power at which the Tiago EV was charging from 8% SOC to 100% SOC at the 30 kW Tata power charger. As you can see, the Tiago EV with the 24 kWh battery pack can peak at around 18 kW. So even if you go to a 60 kW or 120 kW DC charger, the peak will always remain at around 18 kW. After 80%, the Tiago EV's BMS accepts a lower power and you can see the rate of charging decreasing rapidly. After 90%, the charging speed plummets and after 95%, it's slower than 3.3 kW AC charging. Many of you may be wondering, why not charge faster? Why not charge at 30 kW or 60 kW and achieve faster charging times? The answer to that question boils down to one thing, protecting the battery pack. What you've observed is that electric car and BMS designers try to DC fast charge at around 1C rate and if cars have a higher voltage architecture, then they charge at 2C. The C rate is the unit battery experts use to measure the speed at which a battery is fully charged or discharged. For example, charging at a C rate of 1C means that the battery is charged from 0 to 100% in one hour. 
A C rate higher than 1C means a faster charge. For example, a 3C rate is 3 times faster, so a full charge would take place in 20 minutes. In India, most electric cars with the 400V architecture charge at around 1C. The only car we have seen charging at 2C was the Kia EV6, which uses an 800V architecture. Higher C rates increase the rate of degradation in the battery, reducing range and shortening the vehicle lifespan. Faster charging can also cause dangerous dendrites to form. These hurt the battery's lifespan, can lead to cell failure, and in some extreme cases have been known to cause fires. Now that we've understood the limitations, let's look at the next graph. The current is being pumped into the Tiago EV's battery. The more current you see here, the faster you can charge the electric car's battery. As you can see, the Tiago EV hits peak current pretty quickly, 60% SOC. After 75% SOC, there is a decrease in the current demanded by the BMS. And after 90%, there is a dramatic drop in the current demand. The voltage graph confirms that the Tiago EV uses a 400 volt architecture and it remains steady from start to end. These graphs tell me that the Tiago EV's BMS has a very similar design to that of the Nexon EV Max. They don't want to cause stress to the LFP cells as more heat builds up. As the state of charge increases, the BMS plays safe by reducing the current supply. So what have we learned? We've learned that when the car is at about 10% SOC or under 10% SOC, to go from 10% to 50%, it takes about half an hour and you get 100 kilometers of range. So that's quite practical. Uh, it's, it's good for a quick top up. Uh, after 85%, the current slows way down. So uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to charge your car to 100% unless you're really desperate to do so. It's fine to charge it just to 80% and that's good enough to get you to most of the places where you need to go. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below about the Tata Tiago's charging and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.